Hello my fellow travelers, today I'm going to be doing the TMI tag. I saw a YouTuber I watch called So Code Mode do this. So I thought it was fun, you know, I got to learn a little bit about her, so this gives you a chance to learn about, a little bit about me, and when you do one, I can learn about you. So here we go. Question one. What are you wearing? Okay, so obviously I'm wearing my Mountain Dew shirt, and then I also have lovely, lovely pajama pants on. I love pajama pants. If I could wear them all the time, I would. Um, have I ever been in love? Yes, I have. I am married. So he, I guess you could say, was my one true love. I thought I'd been in love before, but it really wasn't that. It was really just convenience, I guess. Uh, ever been in a terrible breakup? Yes, the person that I was in a relationship with before my husband, uh, we didn't have a great breakup. It sort of was one of those things where everybody in the relationship is like, okay, so let's just be friends, and then they don't end up being friends because the other side can't decide if they're angry at them or whatever. So we just sort of parted ways. It, <laughs> it just ended there. Let's see, how tall am I? I am 5'4". Although some people try to argue that. How much do I weigh? I don't know. <laughs> I think the last time I weighed myself I was 230 pounds. So it's not really something I'm really like focused on per se. But uh, I do think that that's how much I weigh. Any tattoos? No. Thought about it, but I just can't seem to spend that amount of money because I just rather travel with it. So there it goes. Um, any piercings? Yes, I have one in my ears. I've thought about getting other piercings, like the embedded ones that you can get on your hands here and stuff like that, but I don't really dedicate it to it or anything. OTP. Um, in real life, my husband and I, I think, we're the best couple ever. Uh, <laughs> ones to watch, like uh, couples that aren't my husband and I, is my friend Holly and her husband. I really like their interactions together and how they seem to be a good team. She'll tell you that a lot of times they're not, but they seem to be a good team to me. And if they had their own show, I think I'd watch it all the time. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Um, a fantasy one for me is Deedlet and Parn. And I don't think anyone here remembers this anime, but it's called uh, Record of the Lotus Wars. And I just love it. I think it's great. I don't know if they ever actually got together because I can't really remember. It's been so long since I watched it. But the, that one is my anime one. Let's see, my favorite show. My favorite show of all time, the name of that show is Stargate SG-1. I could watch Stargate, Stargate, <laughs> sorry, uh, all day long. And I typically do. I typically have a year review where I go through and I watch that, that show. Another one is Star Trek. Another one is, so I could watch Star Trek original series or The Next Generation all day long. I've seen other iterations, but those two are the two that I come back to. Uh, let's see, another one is Jeremy Brett's version of Sherlock Holmes. The new one that they, they have right now is okay, but I think Jeremy Brett for me is the best. So moving on, favorite bands. I guess you could say I have two. Inya and Mute Math, I continuously come back to them. I also continuously come back to this one. It's the name of the band is Jethro Tull, and it's just the dude's name. And I like it because he brings the flute into rock and roll, which I like when people do stuff like that that's not really traditional, I guess. Something I miss. This was kind of a hard one for me because I miss different things depending on when you ask me, but for steadily the past two or three months, I've really been missing my sister. I haven't ever really been able to talk to her that much over the years, so I don't know where she's at or what she's doing, but I hope she's okay. And I do miss her. Uh, favorite song? I have two. I have two that really epitomize, I think, who I am. Uh, one is Caribbean Blue by Inya, and another one is Odd Soul by the band Mute Math. And for me, they pretty much wrap up everything. Caribbean Blue because it's all about, you know... I don't know, it's just a it's a very moving song to me because it's gentle, it's flowing, it reminds me of like the beauty of nature and the, and how beautiful things can be in life. And then Mute Math is sort of where I'm at now in my life because uh, I'm a Christian now, but I wasn't always, so I'm sort of the odd one out 
when I go to church it's sort of weird because I wasn't I didn't grow up in church so I don't have all their experiences and then when I'm outside of church it's a little different too because I don't have a lot of people's worldview so I'm kind of the odd one out no matter where I go <laughs> so I'm the odd soul that just sort of is trying to find a way uh, how old am I? I believe I'm 33 I don't actually know because I don't really care. Uh, these things are just not things that I keep up with. I have to do math if somebody asks me. And I know that sounds weird, but that's just where it is. I just wait, age, who cares? I have things to do, people to see, that kind of stuff. Um, how old are you? Oh, I already did that one. A zodiac sign. Zodiac sign is Aquarius. Which is kind of funny because I was born February 18th. Uh, so people tell me that that sign is like right on the end or the edge of the sign of two different signs. But I can't remember what the other sign is. So depending on who you ask, I could be Aquarius or something else. And yeah, I don't really believe in it, but it could be fun to sort of read what they have horoscope wise. Quality I look for in a partner. Okay, so um, for this one truthfulness and stability. I have to have stability. The only reason why I uh, can get along with someone is if they're consistent, stable, and truthful. Uh, those three things, you could be anything else, you could believe in anything else, and I'll, I'll be able to get along with you pretty well. So those are the things that I look for. Favorite quote, nobody's nerfed. <laughs> and why that is, is because of this. You have to have a sense of humor in life or you're not going to go anywhere. It's going to be a very terrible situation for you. Uh, you have to understand that people are not perfect and that they will make mistakes and sometimes these mistakes will be on purpose because of things they believe or because things that they think are true at the time but then they realize later that oh my gosh that was a terrible mistake I should have never <laughs> I should have never done that thought that said that etc etc so there you just have to realize that that's part of life as well it's kind of a big part because relationships are everything in life so it just encompasses a lot for me so that's why favorite actor is Danny Kaye I really enjoy him he is not someone that is even alive I don't think he's even alive anymore but you can watch him and really understand what's going on in the scene he emits emotion well, and whether he's doing comedy or he's doing something serious like a drama, it all plays out very well. Uh, my favorite color is baby blue. I really like it. Loud music or soft? Both. Uh, so here's the thing. Whether I am listening to soft music or loud music, I usually like it at a high octave. So basically, I'm turning up that volume. Especially if I'm driving or if I'm cleaning the house or something, it helps me focus. So I do soft music at a low volume if I'm studying or reading or something like that. And I have such range, excuse me, that it really depends on what I'm doing as to what I'm listening to. Where do I go when I'm sad? Well, when I'm sad, I don't really go anywhere. Like, I don't have a specific spot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I will just go to a place where I'm by myself so I can pray and sort of figure out why am I sad, uh, what, what happened here, is there a way I can figure it out. When I don't do that, that's when things get all screwy. So I will just usually just leave, I'll just separate myself and try and figure out, you know, what's going on. How could I fix that or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to answer both of these at the same time. How long does it take you to shower and how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Showering takes me like 15 minutes. There's not a whole lot to do in there unless I am tending to one of these long-term wounds that I have, uh, there's just, you know, you're just washing yourself. <laughs> it shouldn't take forever. Uh, the getting dressed in the morning takes me like 10 minutes because I already know what I'm going to put on. I usually have it set out or I at least have an idea of what I'm going to do. Let's see, have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I've been in three. One, I was able to just sort of roll away from. <laughs> That's an interesting story. And the other two, I wasn't the instigator, but I finished it turn-ons and turn-offs. So turn on. Honesty. <laughs> turn-offs. Uh, dishonesty. Even if someone thinks they're being polite, eh, yeah, it's no good. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, well initially it was just because, hey, I could get a YouTube 
why not? You know, I, I could do videos. That's cool. I could put it out there. Somebody might want to watch it. That would be cool. Uh, so it changed from that just to I just wanted to be part of this. I enjoy video. I always have. Uh, my grandmother got me into it, actually, which is kind of a funny story as well. But uh, so I always wanted to be part of something. Uh, now I have stayed part of YouTube because... I really enjoy traveling, I really enjoy sharing it with people, and to find people who actually want to see what I'm doing, that's awesome. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a conversation, I'm looking for people to go, oh, if you like that, come visit this, because I'm always looking for another place to go. I love traveling. So, the reason I joined YouTube is you guys. <laughs> uh, fears? I don't really have any, like, initial fears. I guess... Hmm. Being buried alive, I suppose. I guess everybody fears that one, though. Uh, I don't really know. I really couldn't say right off the top of my head. Like, maybe... There's stuff that I just really don't like or creeps me out, but doesn't... I don't, like, have intense fear. Oh, I know. Okay. Heights. I really am afraid of heights. I had a bad fall when I was younger, so now, whenever I get up any higher than, like, maybe the third rung on the ladder, my body reacts badly that I start shaking and stuff. Last thing that made me cry. Last thing that made me cry was my husband. He's about the only thing that can make me cry. I kind of swore off crying when I was younger. I had a rough childhood. So I basically was just like, eh, no more crying. And he's about the only one who can make me cry, either because of the really super nice things he says to me sometimes, or the way he makes me feel so wanted, or just sometimes, like happens in a marriage, you know, we, we neglect each other. So, last time you said you love someone, it was probably about an hour ago when I was talking to my husband. Meaning behind my YouTube name, okay, so my YouTube name is Sleepy Blue Kitty, and the meaning behind that is really pretty simple. I like cats, I'm a big cat person. I am, I enjoy naps, I like to sleep, uh, I try to stay like this really chill person, um, and I enjoy the color blue, like the light blue thing. Uh, the other thing that really inspired it is that I have this book called The Complete Cat Book and in it it shows you there you there is a way to breed a cat that is blue. Now it's kind of it was kind of like an accident they figured that out so I was, I've always been fascinated by that so I was like oh sleepy blue kitty that's so awesome you know I just that's me that that will always be me I'll never change it. Well, let's see, last book I read. The last book I read is, uh, and finished, is called The Enchanted Forest Chronicles. I'm currently reading two books. I usually read two books at a time because that just that's just the way it goes for me. I'll be reading a book, and if it, the book is in a period where it's sort of telling you about, like, the landscape or whatever. If you ever read Terry Brooks, Terry Brooks has this amazing way of describing everything down to the nth degree. And that can make my brain shut off and it makes it hard for me to imagine. So I'll switch to another book for a little while and then that only starts I get starts to get harder for me to imagine what I'm looking at or reading, I mean. I'll switch back to the other one with a fresh set of eyes, basically. But that's the one I currently that's about that's the last one I read. The one I'm the two that I'm currently reading, uh, one is called Oh, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called because it's a compilation of three books together in one, you know. It's by R.A. Salvatore, and the other one's also by R.A. Salvatore, but it's called the, it's part of the Cleric Quintet. So, I'll have to look that up, I guess. The, um, the Cleric Quintet one I've actually read before. Uh, so, this is like a reread, but this other one, something, it's about barbarians or something. And uh, this was one I haven't read before. So I'll, I'll give you guys a link in the bottom so that you can see what I'm doing. The last show I watched was, uh, oh my gosh, why can't I remember? I just got done watching it too. <laughs> oh, Once Upon a Time, Once Upon a Time. That's an okay show. Last person I talked to was my husband. The relationship between me and the person I last texted. Well, I last texted my husband. So my husband, love of my life, amazing man. Um, my favorite food. Okay, so this is a hard one because I'm also a foodie. I'm a big foodie. I love all kinds of food. The one that I fall back on, or the two that I fall back on for like comfort food and stuff, is Chinese food 
and Italian food. I guess I'm pretty normal when it comes to that. So I really love anything pasta and sauce and meats and vegetables. And then for the Chinese food, it's always been, uh, if, if you know what pancit is or chow mein bun, I really love that stuff. I, I could die eating that stuff and be die happy. <laughs> so let's see, what's next? Place I want to visit. I know this sounds weird, but I want to visit Washington. Like, not Washington, D.C., but Washington State, Seattle, and stuff like that. It seems such... I've, I've always seen people describe it as, like, this strange place to go where it's so weird because there's not a lot of sunshine and it's always raining. And it's supposed to be, if you follow it along the arc, I guess, of the globe, um, Washington, Maine, all those places around in there, it's supposed to be along the same line as like Ireland, Scotland, so you get an idea of kind of what it's like over there weather-wise. I don't know if that's true, but I'd like to go and see. I'd also like to go to Maine. Just places I've never been before. That's where I want to go. Let me see. The last place I were. The last place I were, travel-wise, was the Angel Oak, which I will do for you guys soon. Let's see. Do I have a crush? Sort of. I crush on my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I kissed someone was this morning. Guess who? <laughs> Last time you were insulted. I don't really guess I get insulted, but I get sort of like, what was that all about? Or I get angry. So the last time I was angry was at my sister-in-law. Well, that's kind of a long story, too. Let's see. Favorite flavor of sweet? <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate everything. I like chocolate. I like, uh, recently I've started eating runts again, which really isn't, I don't really think they count as food. <laughs> it's just sugar. Let me see. What instruments do you play? I don't currently play one. I used to play the clarinet though. Couldn't tell you which one. I just know that it was a clarinet. I am trying to get a viola. Uh, that is one of my goals for the next couple of years is to buy a viola and learn how to play that. Let me see, what's next? Favorite piece of jewelry? Oh, hold on, I have to go get this. I will be right back. Alright, so my favorite piece of jewelry is actually this right here. I don't know if you can see it. It is a chainmail ring. Let's put it over back here. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it or if it's focusing right or anything. But it's a ring made of chainmail. I lost my wedding ring. And this is what I, my husband asked me, you know, what do you want me to replace it with? And this is it because it breathes and it really kind of stretches. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. It stretches and folds with your hand, with your finger. So that's exactly what I need. I've since found my wedding ring. Yay. So now I have two and I like that. I think that's awesome. Uh, also these earrings. I have another set. Uh, they are made out of scale mail, and I really like these. I have not seen anybody do this before, and I actually bought this from someone who has a table at Atomicon, and she calls herself Hooks and Toggles, and I'll have a link at the bottom for you guys to see that, because you should definitely check out her stuff. This kind of stuff you can really only buy at her table. So come to Atomicon in November. She will definitely be there. If you can find me, just tell me you saw this video and you're looking for her and I will point you right to her because I said aside money to buy from this girl. She is good. I love her stuff. Let me see, what's next? The last sport you played. Okay, so I don't really play sports, but I really like to go hiking, so I'll just say that. Last song I sang was a song about Mordred. If you know anything about King Arthur, it's a song basically about like what Morgana was thinking with him, I think. I'll have a link for that too. Favorite chat up line. I didn't know what a chat up line was, so I had to look it up and apparently it's the the hit on lines. I don't really like any of those. I don't like it when people come up to me and just go, hey, how's it going, blah, 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 and, you know, small talk, I don't like small talk. I would much rather someone just come up to me and say my name or say my sleepy blue kitty. What do you think about this? They, you don't have to say hello to me. You don't have to be polite that way. I usually prefer that people don't, but I understand that people will because it's what we're taught. You know, I get that. I just don't like small talk. I think it's a waste of time. If you want to talk to me about something, let's just start talking about that instead of having to go through the small talk. 
Uh, let's see, what's next? Have you ever used it? So, yes, I do walk up to people and not say hello to them and just ask them, what do you think about this? I mean, I get their attention, I call their name or something, but I don't say hello, I don't go into, hey, how are you every time, that sort of thing. It's just, it's a waste of time for me. I came over here to talk to you about something, let's get to it. You come over here and talk to me, unless it's literally about, you know, don't, you know, what are you doing today? Ask me what I'm doing today. But if you have something else you're trying to talk to me about, don't start with a small talk because it drives me nuts. <laughs> um, last time I hung out with anyone was yesterday, every Sunday. For a Christian, every Sunday is their celebration day, it's their, it's their high holy day, whatever you want to call it. So we have gatherings once a week, um, mostly on Sunday, to hang out. Sometimes we eat food together, but always to study the Bible. And it's always fun. It's never sort of weird. When I go to church, it's weird. <clears throat> when I have my social gatherings with other people, that's when it starts to get fun. That's when it starts to get uh, sort of more like what I expected church to be. So uh, it's, it's less structure, I guess. I mean, it has structure, but it's not super rigid or anything, and I like that. So I guess that's why it's fun. Who should answer these questions next? You should. If you're watching this, I, I was doing this so you guys could get to know me a little bit better, and I would love to get to know you better. So if I haven't already seen your video, or if you've made it and I haven't commented on it or anything, just let me know you have one and I'll go watch it for sure. Um, other than that guys, that's all of them. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, then feel free to share it. Uh, feel free to make a comment. Feel free to let people know about my channel. If you like any of the other videos, share it. That's all I ask. You don't have to subscribe, but I would love it. <laughs> okay guys, so I've got some chores I gotta go get done. So that's all from me. Have a great day.